vaginismus, a disorder that only hurts women during sex. My body won't let me have sex, when your body just says no to sex. Vaginismus is a sexual pain disorder where women experience an involuntary tightening of muscles around the vagina whenever penetration is attempted. Few know about it, even though a 2017 study found that nearly 1 in 10 British women find sex painful. Vaginismus can develop at any time throughout a woman's life and can appear after they experience anything from thrush or childbirth to sexual trauma or the menopause. But some sufferers discover they have the condition when they try, and fail, to have sex for the first time. Shame and taboo often stops them from seeking help, despite it being curable. You're not always in control of what your body is doing, with or without your input. When Isley Lynn recalls her first sexual experience as a teenager she describes it as a non-starter. I found it really heartbreaking. I felt like I was broken. I felt at fault for something that wasn't my fault. While many of us can probably relate to the awkwardness and clumsiness of a first sexual encounter, Isley's reaction was the result of a little talked about condition. Isley, now 30, still has vaginismus and is touring her play, Skin a Cat, which is all about her experiences. The NHS defines vaginismus as the body's automatic reaction to the fear of some or all types of vaginal penetration. The vaginal muscles tighten up and the woman has no control over it. Someone with it may find it hard inserting a tampon, struggle to have sex or feel a burning or stinging pain. Isley says, I tried my first tampon when I was 10 years old. It was excruciating, it felt like there was no hole, like there was a wall in front of where a hole should be. I knew something was seriously wrong after my first boyfriend. The condition has also had a big emotional bearing on Isley's relationships. I remember feeling really afraid that partners maybe thought I just wasn't in love with them or I wasn't physically attracted to them, she says. The playwright was diagnosed with vaginismus in her late teens and was treated with vaginal trainers which slowly increase in size to try to relax the muscles and physiotherapy. Isley says that after attempting the treatments, she soon realized they weren't working and that being fixed wasn't the solution to her long-term happiness.